Hey friends, let's welcome part 33 of this playlist. We are looking at real certification questions on Solution Architect C03. If you have not yet become a member, get the Cloud Kernel or Cloud Ninja membership to gain access to some more important questions. Those are important because you will need those as an ammo to clear your certifications. Now, what is the difference between these two? Cloud Ninja is for advanced certification like AWS Solution Architect Professional, AWS Data Analytics, and so on. Cloud Kernel is for basic and intermediate certifications like Cloud Practitioner, AWS Solution Architect Associate, GCP Data Engineer, AZ900 from Azure, and so on. If you have not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for, man? This channel is on for so many days. In fact, months now, if not years, take the advantage of all the content. Do not worry about whether it is a old content, new content. There is nothing called old content. Everything, everything on this channel is relevant even now. Okay. The car still has four tires. Ranveer Singh is still undressing himself. Don't worry. The days have not changed. The questions have not changed significantly. Whatever is the business, what we are looking at is to save the storage cost on AWS S3. S3 is an object storage. Remember, there is no limit, any amount of data, any amount, infinity. See, one requirement that you need to understand is if the ringtones, they are more than 90 days old people do not download it that frequently it can be like you know a new badsha song gets released so people will download that instead of uh, a song from brahmastra because brahmastra came like i think two months back so that is the requirement now A is talking about infrequent access. So this is, you know, what is IA? If your files are not accessed frequently, then you use this. So here they want to use this as an initial storage, not for the 90 days, but for the initial storage. Can we use it? For the initial storage we cannot right why 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 because your files the ringtones they are stored on s3 they are of popular songs and people will constantly access it this is a company needs to save money on storage while keeping the most access files readily available so if you keep it on s3 that means it is not readily available it will take time to be available now b is talking about intelligent tiring this is having some sort of brains okay so it has ai fed in it will have brains so it will automatically say hey you know what these files they are infrequently accessed and are more than 90 days old let's move that so it will do it automatically but i will mark this wrong now you might ask hey why why this is wrong it is meeting the requirement it is meeting the requirement i understand it man but intelligent tiring is expensive very expensive compared to other options because it has intelligence built in it 
for example elon musk has a lot more intelligence built in him so he is expensive his company's stocks are expensive very expensive now c tells you configure s3 inventory to manage objects and move them to infrequent access after 90 days move them how the solution is incomplete it does not say how do we move them manually then it is wrong it is not cost effective so we are left with one life cycle policy you can configure this it will help you with transition actions and expiration actions in this question we need transition actions to move from one layer to other that is from s3 standard to infrequent access after 90 days you can also use it for expiration actions where s3 will delete the expire objects on your behalf so this suffices because it will use infrequent access for infrequently downloaded content older than 90 days after 90 days so this is my final answer let us look at this question there is a training application it is up 12 hours a day it is a three tier application it uses rds for database and it wants to minimize costs what should you do so everything is about saving cost so aws is just like your company not only company it's like companies like infosys tcs which is all about cost saving so if you go through the questions they are talking about automatic start and stop of database automatic start and stop of database so that means for this 12 hours window after that the solution is saying i will stop the database to save the cost so a is telling that they will use IAM policy and you they will update the trust relationship and then see boss first thing this is not a uh, security or role assignment question okay so this is totally wrong see b is telling they will use cache to access the data even when the database has been stopped so that will not work invalidate the cache after db instance is started see cache will not work why you need cache cache is not a database availability solution caching elastic cache is used to improve performance reduce the load that is the use case reduce the load on the database does the question tell you that you want to reduce the loads no this is wrong. C is telling boss launch an EC2 instance and create a role to access RDS grant to access configure a cron job to start and stop the EC2 instance. That means uh, you have to stop the database. Okay. First the question is telling 12 hours a day means you have to start stop and start the database. But this guy is so foolish he will start and stop the ec2 instance so this is very easy to strike out so we are left with one answer you can use lambda to start and stop because it is serverless very cost effective you can use cloudwatch events which is now called event bridge to invoke lambda functions and you can configure lambda function as event targets for the rules this way you can minimize the cost lambda is very cheap compared to ec2 instance okay
compared to elastic cash so this would be my answer so this is the next question so you are migrating your on prem this one on prem to aws in one region this is a region and you want to ensure that nobody on the internet or any other region can access it so the first the first option tells you to use control tower which helps you to govern a secure multi account aws environment this is how it is laid up so basically it will help you deny internet access that is what you want this one and it, it would deny access to other regions also so this meets this requirement also hey we got our answer but uh, uh, we need to choose two so we need one more WAF is used to protect web applications from exploits okay it will not help prevent internet access so this is wrong c tells you to use organizations it helps centrally manage your environment when you are scaling up like lots of resources 100 vms or 100 ec2 instances 5 or 10 uh, redshift databases so you know it is difficult so then you use organizations and in organizations they are telling to use service control policies which helps to manage permissions in your organization which is fine and that will prevent vpcs from gaining internet access so that can be one policy and it will deny access to all other regions this can be one another policy so this should work let us look for other options see the moment i see this 000 that means free for all so if internet access has to be denied free for all will not work see, this one is saying that using config which is basically meant for auditing your resources like who changed the configuration of a particular ec2 instance when why that that is called audit so config is meant for that so it is saying boss i will use config i will tell you when internet gateways have been deployed to other regions i will tell you that time so this is a reactive solution we want a proactive solution proactive is already what we already chose because you got to the police has to come when the theft is going to occur it's occurring if it already occurred and then the cops come it is not uh, of that much use because the incident already occurred so these two would be my final answers by the way if you have not subscribed hit subscribe when you started this video you must have seen a product icon here you can click that and view some awesome products there is a smartwatch there is a, a sunglass and a fitbit which are very cool it is a bit high in price but extremely cool if you want to shop you can shop from there if you have not yet clicked the join button please become a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member cloud kernel will give you access to intermediate and basic certification content ninja will give you access to advanced certification content this brings us to the end of part 33 all real certification questions see you in the next part the next part would be for members only part 34